Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. My name is James David and today I'll be talking about this particular begonia known as Martin Mystery. I am actually redoing this old video due to bad sound quality. So in this video here, I'll be sharing my quick care tips on how I care and cultivate this particular begonia. Unlike most common begonias, where they can be very sensitive and may require a lot of care condition, especially when it comes to high humidity and the host of other things, this particular begonia is considered quite hardy. I will be going through some basic details on some of the care tips on this particular begonia. One of the most important main requirement for this particular one is the lighting. When it comes to lighting, it does require bright indirect shaded lighting. Too shaded and this one will turn more into a green color nodes. However, when it's receiving the optimum light, the leaves will turn into these glossy red tones, very much like the burgundy kind of nodes. Also, they will be able to bloom more frequently when it comes to optimum lighting. The blooms will not take place in shaded area. Another factor that I would like to talk about is the soil medium. This particular begonia is considered hardy and therefore they can actually handle very well in any of the regular potting mix. I had found that when it comes to the regular potting mix, I am able to plant with other plants together to create a combination of few plants growing together in one pot. Therefore, it actually helps the plant to regulate uh, overwatering problem. When it comes to propagation, they also do very well with leaf cutting propagation. Here, if you can notice, a small plantlet has popped up from the soil medium. This particular begonia does very well with many uh, and many style of propagation. They can also do uh, very well in when it comes to rooting through stem cutting too. However, do take note that when this particular begonia become very leggy, they do tend to become dormant. So therefore, it is one of the important things to keep this particular begonia tight and compact. One of the factors that I've noticed is that they do tend to grow long and leggy and may able to snap under their own weight. And therefore, pruning is one of the most important things that need to be done for this begonia. Another factor about pruning, you can actually use the prune material for propagation. Over here is my propagation station where I have planted few of my begonia leaf for the next generation. One of the other most important thing about this when it comes to propagation is watering. Too much water can be very detrimental as the whole thing can succumb to strong root problem. Therefore, keeping them just barely moist and importantly more towards the drier side. And receiving light, adequate lighting is also essential. However, when it comes to watering, do pay attention on the quality of the water. I found that regular tap water do cause harm, especially burns on the leaf. So in most cases, I actually use filtered water or the best would be rain water. Hence, if you were to notice any burn marks or withering taking place on the leaf surface or the leaf edges, do change or also check on the water quality as it can be too strong for them. Once you have managed to cover the essential, especially the lighting, the watering and the potting medium, the other more, another essential that I would like to talk about is the fertilizer. I have found that one of the strongest struggles that I actually face is getting the right fertilizer for these begonias. And somehow fertilizers seems 
to varies according to different garden conditions. In my case, I have found that organic fertilizers work best but they are not stable. At times, I find that and it does work at the first stages but tend to burn the plant when it comes to the second application. Hence, they can also be very finicky. Because of this factor, I often alternate my feeding application by using organic fertilizer in one week and chemical foliar fertilizer in the other week. Alternative feeding uh, setting actually ensure their good growth and very much balance in getting both of the different nutrients and the ability to handle, handle a good root structure in this condition. Apart from all these particular basics, I have found that they are quite hardy and I have not come across any pest problems on this begonia. Also, unlike most begonias, these do not have much of a root problem or root rot problems. Hence, they are considered one of the hardy ones that I have come across. And because of all these factors, I would actually recommend this particular begonia for new beginners to start with. They are actually very hardy and easy to care for. Another factor that I actually found is that this particular begonia is actually very much common and easily found in most nursery. And they are not very expensive and often sold in a very affordable price. So this is other factors that you can actually look into it when it comes to Martin Mystery Begonia. I believe I've covered most of the most essential plant care needs for this begonia. If you have any questions, do put in a comment below and I try my best to answer them in my best ability. Thank you and have a nice day.